First, it's an honor to be here. Um, I, I love this. I'm always honored. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars we have a, a presentation that we would like to make uh, to, to honor one of your fallen officers and to, um, as also a reminder to your officers that we hope that this never happens again and that they know that there are resources out there for them. So we wanted to present this to you. Not so much an honor as a privilege to be standing here in support of those brave men and women who every day put their lives on the line to make sure that our city is safe. And I think we need to give each and every one of them a round of applause, more importantly. Yes. Thank you to the police for what you do. Yes. You know, that moving forward requires everybody to be on the same page. Us, them, and most importantly, the prosecution prosecutors, the judges, who need to keep these individuals in jail. We can't keep asking the community to stand up. We can't keep asking the police to arrest if they're going to wind up back out on the street by dinner. That has to end. I'm angry what's going on in Chicago. I'm angry what's going on with the Chicago Police Department, the way they're being treated by this mayor and this Cook County State's Attorney. I may be out of line, but part of the death of this, this gentleman is caused by the struggles these policemen are going through with no backup from Mayor Lightfoot and Cook County State's Attorney Fox. What's going on in this city is despicable, despicable. I've traveled the last couple days, couple of weeks, where I went to Philadelphia and Boston to talk to the people there to see what's going on. They respect their police departments. They bring them first. I'm here because I want to talk about the victims of crime. Right now, there's all this talk about defunding the police. But the police do a lot more than just catch criminals. They're there to make sure that fire trucks can get through when your house is on fire. They're there to make sure the paramedics can get through when your child is choking. We have a lot of crime right here in Chicago. And this year alone, so far, there have been more children under the age of 10 that have been murdered than in the previous two years combined. We need to back our police because they are that thin blue line between civilized society and total anarchy. We are Americans in these neighborhoods that need our help. And the police are out there trying to do their best. It is a shame that last year we had approximately 200 plus officers active and retired that took their own life. Uh, they're dealing with a lot of issues. I can tell you as a national and international representative of Legion of St. Michael, I know how difficult it is for them dealing with COVID, dealing with family stresses, dealing with individuals constantly coming after you. The cops can deal with those issues. Cops been getting, been getting shots and killed for 20 plus years. That's not what they're complaining about. What they're complaining about is that they try to do their job and the individuals who are supposed to support them at the political level constantly keep on pulling away. It's a shame because they're only hurting Americans. Our politicians' first, resp first uh, responsibility is to make sure that our citizens are protected. Lori Lightfoot, you're failing. It's time for you to go. I will always back our police officers. We get it back the blue on three. We haven't done the back the blue yet. Can we do a one, two, three. Back the blue! God bless every one of those police officers over there and around us. We all stand with you. The, the media is going to tell you that nobody cares about you, but we the people care about you. Keep doing your jobs and we love every single one of you. Thank you. In 18 years, I could never have imagined that when I took this job that we were going to have this kind of rhetoric and lawlessness in society. I could never believe when we had the media, Hollywood, 
academia, pro sports that were anti-law enforcement. And the same, the, the, the similarity with all this is, is this is happening in every major city in America. And the rhetoric by our politicians, when you have a presidential candidate like Joe Biden saying that the police are the enemy of the people, and you have individuals like AOC saying to dismantle the police, what kind of civilized nation would we be without police? Anyways, my name is Jeff Muehlfelder. For those of you that don't know me, I am a proud second generation Chicago police officer. And when I was a, uh, a small boy, I'd wait till my dad got home at, he worked the mid, he worked the afternoon shift and he'd get home at midnight and I'd stay up in bed and I'd wait and he'd come home and he'd make himself a bowl of soup and I'd sneak into the kitchen and I'd ask him, dad, did you catch any bad guys tonight? And he'd say, yeah. And I'd sleep well. I was at a, uh, tell you a little bit about me. I was, I was at a, uh, a party. I was invited to a housewarming party. Very simple thing. Normal for everybody else. Okay. And uh, when I got to this housewarming party, the person who invited me introduced it, introduced me to her family. And she introduced me like this. Every cop knows what, what I'm going to say next. She says, Hey, this is my neighbor, Jeff. He's a cop. And right then, you know, my, my heart was like, Oh, what's going to come on next? You know? And, uh, I'll tell you what happened. It was the summer of 2016, and everybody remembers what happened then. Her brother, a 50-year-old accountant who had never been arrested, stood up in my face and yelled, 16 shots! 16 shots! As if I had murdered somebody. Today, we have a 50-year-old accountant who's never done anything wrong in his life, who feels like he can, he can feel for, for, for the guy running down the street threatening the police officers, high on drugs, committing a felony. He feels more, where, where does that come from? That a guy could feel more along the lines of someone that does that than his neighbor, a police officer. We are being lied to on a colossal scale. Black Lives Matter, the lie is whoever said that they didn't. Whoever put it in someone's mind that they didn't. The one thing I wanna say is that People really have to see the truth. The media, they don't do the job that they used to. What is happening in this country is people are controlled by hate. Hate, not love. And defunding the police, you know this is a ridiculous idea. And what's gonna cause is what? More criminalites, right? So I'm here to support our police officer today. They need our help. They are also human beings. We have to balance that we have to also protect and, and also defend our police officers. We need to support our police. We need to have their back. And for those who are listening, please understand, coming here is great, but if we don't take concrete actions to ensure that the police are free to do what they need to do to support us, then we can expect worse chaos, worse violence in our street, and everything to do that will ruin us. See, I want to thank all of you guys that are, that are out here because the first step to change our government and to change our communities is to get involved right these brave men and women of the police department are here protecting us and the right of the protesters but what democrats that are in office right now cannot accept is the destruction of our communities that has to stop help get america back on the right track instead of destroying it amen so I love CPD. I was a former county, state and federal prosecutor, and then I was a sheriff of Lake County from 06 to 018. They all want to defund the police. They all think Black Lives Matter is a legitimate organization. And they all think that looting and burning down legitimate businesses and homes is fine. They all think that shooting at, uh, at rival gangs and hitting little girls is okay. Right, thank you so much everyone for coming out today. We really wanted to show our support to the police department and to send a message to the community. 
and to send a message to, to the community that this is about making amends between our officers and these communities all over the city and all over the nation.